the hacker group known as Anonymous that has been able to take over the world? Who is Banksy? And who started Bitcoin? All of this on today's most amazing top 10 list. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Anonymous. Anonymous is a group known for their hacking, cyber attacks, and international activism. While Anonymous is more of a large group of people rather than just one or a few, their identities remain a secret. The group started in 2003 on a 4chan image board where like-minded people were able to share their similar ideas. The group likes to act anonymously but in a coordinated manner and have targeted things like government agencies, the Westboro Baptist Church, and corporations such as PayPal and Visa. Members of the group are known as Anons and usually wear a mask that is stylistically similar to the Guy Fox mask, but some members prefer to cover their faces with other masks that aren't so well known. A lot of members also choose to disguise their voices through voice changers or by using text to speech. There certainly have been people in the group who have been found out and arrested, but a large majority of them remain hidden from us. And guys, make sure you hit that like button because it really helps us out. Coming in at number nine, we have Banksy, maybe one of the most famous street artists of all time. He has gone around the world to throw up his signature stencil art style. Everything he makes is some sort of commentary on society, and most of his art is thought to depict messages of anti-war, anti-government, and anti-establishment. And even though his art is some of the most famous in the world, it would seem that no one knows his name, his face, or where in the world he could be hiding. Banksy art has popped up in some of the strangest places in the world and with no one knowing what this guy looks like and with his art mostly being stencils it's hard to tell if Banksy is traveling around the world and doing this himself or if there are different people in different places that are imitating his art or is Banksy more than one person these are all possibilities there was a time when Banksy was apparently arrested and everyone was like oh my god we finally get to see what the guy's face looks like but it turns out that this was all fake press that was released by Banksy to keep the world on their toes. There was also a Banksy painting that was sold at auction, and right when it was purchased, the painting self-destructed through a built-in shredder. How was the timing so perfect for this? Was Banksy there? Did he have a plant to pull this off? This is something we will probably never know. In our number eight spot today, we have Claptone. Claptone are a German DJ and producer combo who are known for donning plague doctor style golden masks and white gloves. In 2015, Claptone was described as one of the most visible characters in the global deep house scene, and it has been said that their music is crisply produced and effortlessly infectious. At first, people thought that Claptone was one person, but then they realized that it often happened that Claptone was playing two separate shows at the same time. The masks are used to intrigue the audience, but also to keep the pair's identity hidden. There honestly isn't much known about the identity of the pair, but they are said to be based in Berlin. Coming in at number seven, we have Daft Punk. Daft Punk has released some of the biggest hits in the world since the 90s. They have toured around the world and sold out stadiums. Their music gets you so jacked up you think you could run through a wall, and they've collabed with some of the biggest artists on the planet, and yet you would still be hard pressed to find out what they look like. For these guys, we do at least have names. They are Guy Manuel de Homan Cristo and Thomas Bangalter. The two have done several interviews, and the question always comes up as why they decide to keep their identity secret, and it turns out it's mostly because they don't think their face reveal would be that exciting. They find that the characters that they have made of the two robots are more interesting and something people can attach themselves to. I think there has to be an element of mystique too. It would be nice to be able to hide from the press and not have every waking moment of your life catalogued by the paparazzi. Also, if you wear a robot mask, your image becomes timeless as no one will see your age. In our number six spot today, we have Ghost. Ghost, who also used to be known as Ghost BC, are a Swedish rock band that was formed in 2003. Their second album was released in 2013 and it ended up debuting at number one in Sweden and in 2016 they won a Grammy for Best Metal Performance. The band is best known for their lively stage presence and eccentric characters and costumes. They all play a character and wear crazy masks or makeup and are very easily recognizable. While one member of the band's identity became revealed in 2017 due to a lawsuit by former band members, the rest of Ghost's identity still remains unknown. There are eight members in the band in total and seven of them are called Nameless Ghouls. 
The band is very approachable by fans who hang out at the stage door after the show ends, but luckily the fans who are able to snap a selfie with the maskless band members tend to respect the band's desire to stay anonymous and keep the photos off of social media. Coming in number five, we have Jack the Ripper, one of the most famous serial killers who was never caught, and to this day, no one knows who he is. The Jack the Ripper murders popped up in England in the year 1888. There were three separate prostitutes that were murdered, and at first it would seem that the murders had no connection. But after some investigation, it started to look as if a serial killer was on the loose. Each one of these women was killed in the same way, by having their throats slit and organs removed. One of the most eerie parts of these crimes was the precision. It would seem that the killings were performed by someone with a deep medical knowledge, possibly a doctor or surgeon. Everything about the murders heightened when Scotland Yard received a letter titled From Hell. It was apparently written by Jack the Ripper and spoke of detailed breakdowns of how he was committing these crimes and how much he enjoyed it. Is anyone else freaked out right now? Some people thought that this could have been a hoax that the newspaper put together so they could sell more papers. You send one creepy letter and next thing you know you're making millions of dollars. But the authenticity of the letter was elevated when a human kidney was sent to Scotland Yard. In our number four spot today, we have the Max Headroom TV hijack guy. On November 22nd, 1987, a man wearing a Max Headroom mask hijacked two separate television broadcasts in Chicago, Illinois. The man was basically speaking nonsense and moaning and screaming throughout, and the audio was extremely distorted. He interrupted the sports segment on the 9 o'clock news for about 25 seconds, and then a few later's hour interrupted a broadcast of Doctor Who for about 90 seconds. The whole thing was very weird, and the second interruption featured some fairly inappropriate behavior, such as a moment when he partially exposed his butt, and an unidentified woman came into the shot and began smacking his butt with a fly swatter. I'm unsure why someone would hijack a television broadcast for basically just nonsense, but I guess maybe he was just trying to have a good time. While the charges for this incident could have left the man with jail time and a $100,000 fine, no one has been able to figure out who this man or even the woman who helped him are. I wonder if we'll ever get answers because I have so many questions. Coming in number three, we have the man in the iron mask. Back in the year 1669, there was a man who was arrested and moved from prison to prison for over 30 years. His identity was kept secret and no one was allowed to see his face. He was forced to wear a velvet black mask anytime anyone would have the opportunity to see him. It seems strange that the French imperial system would have gone to such great lengths to hide his identity but not kill him. This has led to a lot of speculation about who this person could be. Some think it could have been the king's twin brother who might have been able to take the throne from him. That is why no one was allowed to kill him, but also why they had to keep his identity secret. Some people think it could have been multiple people who were all playing the role to keep the French people in line. If they thought that being arrested and having your identity stripped from you was really a possibility, they might have not have been as eager to commit crimes. In our number two spot today, we have Marshmallow. Marshmallow is a DJ who is known for his signature all white outfit and helmet. He's known for teasing his audience with his identity reveal, but it is never what we think it is going to be. At EDC in Las Vegas in 2016, Marshmallow counted down for the crowd and removed his helmet, but it turned out to actually be his friend and fellow DJ artist, Tiesto. A similar thing happened in August of 2018 at the iHeartRadio Much Music Awards when he won Best EDM slash Dance Artist, and when he went up to accept his award, he took his helmet off once again, but this time it was Shawn Mendes. Marshmallow has said he doesn't reveal his identity because he doesn't want or need fame. When he puts on the helmet, he is Marshmallow, and so are we. There is a theory that Marshmallow is actually Chris Cormstock, who is a DJ called .com. Apparently Skrillex once called Marshmallow Chris, and apparently the two have the same leg tattoo, but none of this has ever been confirmed. Coming in the number one spot, we have Satoshi Nakamoto. This is a pseudonym given for the person who created Bitcoin. We all know what Bitcoin is, kinda. We understand that it's one of the biggest cryptocurrencies in the world that blew up to be worth millions of dollars just a few years ago. Anyone who had some money in Bitcoin was feeling like they were going to be king of the world, then it crashed, then it went back up, and now cryptos are an active part of the stock market. But how did it start? Well, back in 2008, a domain was created called Bitcoin.org. This was for a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. This means people could trade Bitcoins to each other for whatever goods 
goods they saw fit. Basically, this became the official currency for anyone doing something illegal online. But this was all happening while no one knew who created it in the first place. Satoshi Nakamoto was the name that the domain was registered under, but no one knows if that's the actual name of the person who made Bitcoin. It's thought that the person could actually be American or even English based on some of the transaction history. But in the end, no one has any idea and we will probably never find out. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's all we have for you today. I've been your host, Jade Reyna. I'm Olivia Kozlowski. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.